Yeah, all this stuff is, this ain't the regular mud. No, I can't even hardly get the postal diggers out of the ground. I can't hardly pull it up. It's like, you see, it's like pulling a suction. It's like it gets a suction on it and it is some nasty, sticky stuff, but dries hard as a, as a rock, as concrete. That I don't think I've ever ever seen anything like it, huh? I can't. Tear post hole diggers up trying to get that out there. Yeah, I know it. I'm gonna run my post hole diggers. And I mean, it's. It's really mushy, but yet down here, this has done started setting up. It's oh, you run all over that. That's like concrete. And it's only been two days. In two days. How far you got to go? I'm going to got to go pretty deep. I mean, I'm still in just old mud. If it ever dries. All right, you got into sand. Must be getting down to the original. Getting into the sand, so you're getting to the original dirt. Mm, goodness gracious. You gotta realize I put that other dirt in here. Mm hmm. Mm. I want to at least get to. It looks like you're getting there. Or dirt. <laughs> well, you got sand. And y'all, this is just post one. Building a pier is going to take quite a few posts. So it's going to be a slow go, but we need this done like pretty pronto before water gets up here don't we yeah the beginning of our pier this is how we work late at night it's eight o'clock at night with a fan <laughs> it's hot but the beginning of the pier
Okay, this is a piece of dead wood, just a piece of treated wood we had left over from the greenhouse where we painted. When we go to put our deck boards in here, I'll have to notch them around this post, and if I don't have something here for it to sit on, it makes them want to have a tendency to want to twist right here at the end. So I would rather have a piece of treated wood in here so that they've got something level and sturdy to sit on. Okay, this is another thing we're doing to our deck out here is uh, we're putting joist hangers on it. Um, I feel like that that would help to sturdy it up even more uh, over the years. If something happens to the deck screws, at least I've got the galvanized uh, hanger joist nails in it to help, uh, to help hold it in place. And plus it's code. Should ever there be a code issue, then I have the joist hangers underneath it.
Danny's stick he started it out at zero at the water level it's up to about half an inch in less than 48 hours uh, guys we've done a little bit of thinking about this and we know that fish feed on bugs at night and in order to do that you have to have a light to draw the bugs into the pond and yes the breeze is blowing so good it's so nice uh, but we're out here on our pier and what we did was we ordered some LED solar, what they're called step lights. They're very small stainless steel uh, uh, little step lights, gigalumi. Uh, these are LED solar step lights. And what we're going to do is we're going to mount these around the up under underneath the edge of our deck because the deck is uh, like 10 inches or 12 inches out of the water. And this will actually, they shine in a downward motion. And what this will do is, this will shine the light around on the water, around the pier here, once it's full of water. And the fish, it will attract bugs, and the fish will come up here to the pier at night to be able to uh, feed on the bugs. And they'll get used to living under the pier here so that we can enjoy watching the fish here around the pier. And plus it helps to feed the fish also. So. We're going to get busy doing this because we got some weather coming in and while I can still walk right here, uh, the pond is up. I put a stick in here the other day, a piece of PVC and I marked on it. Uh, I put a zero as where the water level was at uh, six days ago and now it has rose an inch and three quarters. We're almost to the number two on it there. We're excited about that. So it's rising a little over a quarter of an inch a day, which we think is awesome. It's filling up from the spring heads in it because we really haven't had enough rain to do any kind of filling up. and It just comes a little shower every now and then. But what that's doing is it's keeping the dirt around the pond damp so that the spring head water don't have to evaporate, don't have to soak up into that dry dirt on the sides. As long as this dirt is wet, the spring head can continually rise the pond up. Uh, and we don't have as much evaporation whenever it's uh, hot, like, you know, when it's hot. Today it's kind of cool. The breeze is blowing. got some tropical moisture in the air. And we're enjoying that here uh, on our piers. How high is the water, Mama? Almost two inches in rising. Sounds good to me. Sounds good. You barely out of the water, aren't you? I'm barely out of the water. And this water was two foot out there the other day. Yeah, just a couple of days ago, it was just a couple of feet. It was like two foot to the water. I put that stick just barely in the edge of the water the other day. And it's already. There.
go. Thank <laughs> you.